Attention duped masses! You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. You're listening to The Morning Monarchy for Friday, February 24th, 2017. I am James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. Let's look at His Name is Alive's Patterns of Light. Calling all believers of CERN-inspired psych rock, released on 11-11-2016, the 15th album by long-running Michigan band His Name is Alive is a pulsating piece of psychedelic concept rock called Patterns of Light. The band, with founder, leader, Warren DeFever, being the only constant member since their 1990 debut on the venerable 4AD record label. Now, they're following up their 2014 album. Their 2014 album is a mouthful. It's an Aztec word. Tecuzes Tecatl. Tecuzes Tecatl. 2014. It basically is the Aztec's man in the moon. So they're following up their 2014 album about... Aztec Man on the Moon with an album dedicated entirely to well, let's just let the band in the press release explain it all. Quote Having been invited to perform at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland by one of the scientists, His Name is Alive spent a year studying particle physics and then created patterns of light. The scientist, Dr. James Beecham was asked to fact-check for bad data, misquotes, dragons, pseudoscience, and to make sure the witchcraft-to-physics ratio wouldn't be too embarrassing. He agreed and soon sent pages of notes, screenshots, event displays, and also recommended books and videos. Patterns of Light is the result of this exchange of information. The research focuses on dark matter, dark energy, the search for extra dimensions, many black holes, and the machinery that collides particles at high speeds using 13 tera electric volts, but also studies the fundamental forces of nature as seen through the classic creation myths. The visionary theology of Hildegard von Bingen, medieval manuscripts, cosmic maps, all in an effort to turn the physics back into poetry. Patterns of Light is His Name is Alive's 100th release since their first cassette in 1986. His Name is Alive spent 13 years recording for the legendary 4AD record label and sold over 100,000 records, toured the world, received gold and platinum records for soundtracking Tom Cruise's nervous breakdown in the movie Jerry Maguire, and collaborated on two short films with famed animators the Quay Brothers. That's the quote from the press release for Patterns of Light from His Name is Alive. Now, as I said, last night we went live and we played both sides of the LP with a little bit of commentary in between. We'll include that link in the show notes so you can listen to our version of it. And it plays on vinyl, so it's nice and crackly and beautiful, warm. We'll also include links so you can stream the whole thing online. The record label has it all up on YouTube. So you can listen to the entire album in the links, but I just want to go through these tracks very quickly because what I did and what I've done, what I've always done, (laughs) make notes, listen to it. It's called active listening. It's not just some garbage on in the background. It's not just wallpaper. It's something you engage with just as you would hold a book and look at it and you're actively reading those words and thinking about it that's how i like to listen to music of course not all the time you can't have your brain going that way all the time but when we want to look at these magazines and these books and these pieces of literature and these films and these shows and these pieces of music we want to do it in a thoughtful way it's worth looking at it all. It's worth looking at thoughtfully. I've always rejected the idea that jazz and classical are the only two styles of music worth thinking thoughtfully about. That's unfortunately what most of the universities will say, and that's unfortunately what a lot of the radio stations will say. I mean, just think about the way they treat what they play on those different stations. I love switching it to all classical AM. I know it's FM. It's a great FM station here in They talk about the music thoughtfully. And then you turn it down the dial and it's just garbage. They don't care. It's just widgets in between car commercials. 
So if it's worth listening to, it's worth listening to thoughtfully, I believe. So I implore you to go check this out. And if you're a fan of Rage and Psych Rock, I think you'll dig it. And guess what? We're going to play one of the songs at the end of this episode. as our song of the day. So a blow by blow of how this album Patterns of Light flows. It begins with the title track, Patterns of Light. And there's chanting. What seems to be chanting in Latin. Now fortunately I realized there is a lyrics insert. Couldn't find them anywhere else online. However, I have purchased the album. I support art. I buy the records. There are PDFs in the digital version of the lyrics. I just realized this last night. I've spent most of my research just listening to the album and transcribing my feelings. Now there are actual lyric sheets. So I'm going to publish those along with the show notes, the PDFs. So the whole record begins with the title track, Patterns of Light. And they basically start chanting in Latin. Now, the lyric sheet does not include any of that Latin. So it begins with this sort of incantation feeling. But then it really, fortunately, doesn't take long for the guitar and drums to kick in. And then you're hearing about the light. The source of light is the eye itself. In your mind, the light is still shining. It's the light on the path when my journey's at night. And the patterns of light and the patterns of light. And then the shredding gets intense. Yeah, this is like shredding, like, psych rock. Second track comes, and most of the tracks flow one into the other. You know, like cool old 70s rock record style. And then we drop into track two, called Demon Mix. I want your venom inside me, they sing, as the keyboard arpeggios start to build up, and then the hi-hats and the kick drum beats. Which will you choose, the question gets asked again and again. Then the twin guitar attack on track three, thanks a million. You mean like 22 a million, perhaps? And they talk again and again about the light of creation. In the cool light of creation, thank you for the invitation. Thank you all. Thanks a million. Then side one of the LP ends with lead single Calling All Believers, which we played for you as a song of the day back in November of 2016 when the album came out. It's the strummy guitars, harmonic choir, and the shortest song on the album. It's it's the pitch. It's the call to come down the aisle, brother. Come on, give your testimony. Calling all believers, calling all invisible seers. And then the interesting thing happens. On the LP, they must not have had room, so they dump the instrumental for the scientist, James Beecham. You only get that on the digital version. And it's back into the synths, foggy, fuzzy, instrumental break. So in the digital, they label it as a bonus track, even though it's only on track five. Bonus tracks usually go at the end of albums, not halfway through. I think, again, that's kind of a sign they're operating on another level here. Then you flip the record. Energy Acceleration does just that. It's, again, real sounds, real drumsticks, on cymbals, ratcheted up. And then you're in full-on stoner rock mode. In light of creation, send your light to this location. They repeat over and over again. They said they could hear you. Now, interestingly enough, one of my favorite bands, Spiritualized, they were asked by CERN to perform at the facility back in 2009. However, a bird dropped a baguette onto it and the whole thing was canceled. Birds, bread, reaching for the light. This all sounds very biblical. And speaking of wings, Black Wings ups the energy ante and is the album's most raging moment, and that's what we're going to play in just a few minutes. Until it totally breaks down and buzzes, shifts time signature and into another groove and totally maths out until it floats away. And goes into You Best Pray. More mathy start-stop psych rock as the chorus swells again and then it you know kicks in, Hawkwind, Sabbath. And then you land. Dragon Down, the penultimate song. Finger-plucked guitars, up-front vocals, discernible lyrics... I released one single solitary tear last night, but now I'm golden. Going to heal my heart lines. I'm headed to the energy, looking back in memories. Meeting you was like a dream. And the strange line, what did you use to clean the knife? And then finally, the eight-minute epic closer, silver arc curving in the magnetic field says, turn it up and turn it up again. Turn your machine on again and again. Almost like it's asking you to replay the album as soon as it's over, before it's even over. Then there's some synthy floating loops, and the Latin returns, the chanting, and the album slowly fades away and disappears, like it goes into a black hole. 
That's Patterns of Light from His Name is Alive, released in November. And then, guess what? Barely three months later, they follow it up with a 34-track. Yes, 34 tracks. But remember, one of them included in the digital version of this 34-track Odds and Sods collection was uh, already in the digital version. For the Scientist, James Beecham. So it's, uh, I think it's kind of like a 33-track Odds and Sods collection named after the album song Black Wings, again, which we're going to play for you in just a moment. They say about this 34-track collection, lost vocals revisited, choirs shadowy and decontextualized, themes reoccurring, cannibalized, resurfaced, and upside down. Acapella mixes, cover versions, and familiar melodies from Patterns of Light flipped and reversed. So I did buy the LP version in hope of a lyric sheet. It's not in there, but I realize PDFs were already in the digital version. But maybe lyrics would make it too too easy and too obvious for a band that's obviously operating on a different level. So the real question I'm left in looking at this, and there's so much more to go into, I think what deserves more research and what should be easily done, who is James Beecham? And why does he want psychedelic space rock bands to compose occult operas to the Large Hadron Collider? Are the bands just probably doing what bands would anyway do? It's not like these guys changed their style or anything. This seems like a pretty normal move that they would make. They already tread these waters, so to speak. The bands are just doing what they do. But maybe the doctors know more. Maybe the doctors are looking for bands to invoke something. To bring something about that they otherwise don't know how to do. They only know beakers and science. Maybe they need mad magicians to bring it in. Maybe this is ritual. These are attempts at sorcery. Calling all believers of CERN-inspired psych rock, my friends. That's a look at Patterns of Light from His Name is Alive, and we will listen to the song Black Wings as our song of the day in just a few moments as we start to wrap up this Friday Media Memes edition of Your Morning Monarchy for February 24th, 2017. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks. 